Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I have my sister here with me and we are very excited because we are doing the Universal Yums Super Yum unboxing for the month of September 2023, which is for Czechia. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Universal Yum subscription, it is a monthly international snack subscription where each month you get snacks from a different country. This one again being the Czechia box. And there are three different size subscriptions. So we get the biggest one, which is the Super Yum box. It comes with 15 to 18 snacks and is $45 a month. They then have the Yum Yum box with 10 to 12 snacks for $29 a month or the Yum box with five to seven snacks for $17 a month. We do pay for this box with our own money, but we will leave a link down below in case you are interested in signing up. With that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina. My name is Rachel. She's my sister. And on my channel, we unbox lots of different subscription boxes including lots of snack and food boxes. So if you like these kind of videos, definitely make sure to give this one a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on future uploads and let's dive in. We do sound sick. She definitely sounds more sick than I do. We both got colds. We feel fine, so we're good to film. I'm not yeah. like forcing her to film with me, but we might sound a little bit nasally um, as we unbox this box. When you open up the box, that is what it looks like. On top, you do get a little paper that goes over the country. On the back, it does list all the snacks, which you can rate them worst, weirdest, favorite. I'll put some more information there. Then you get a little sticker fit sheet. And then you do get the pamphlet, which goes over everything inside of the box, goes over information on the country, some trivia on the country, all of the snacks and why they were chosen. You do get a recipe. This month is Czech bird goulash something. So it's a sausage goulash. Ooh. And then on the last page, it does go over all of the nutrition information. And then all the snacks are inside. So today we're trying something out different. If you've watched our Universal Yums unboxings before, you know that we show everything first and then we taste all the products. Today we're actually gonna taste as we go. And we are actually gonna taste all of the, the snacks today that are snacks and not meals because there's like meal kit stuff this time too. Um, we don't know if we're gonna test all the snacks going forward always. This time we actually genuinely would eat all of them and we like all of them. It's like they were interesting to us. Sometimes there's some stuff that we're just not that into. So going forward, we may not taste everything. It'll just depend month by month. But today we're gonna taste everything. We also haven't eaten dinner at this dinner time. So yeah. honestly, this is our dinner. <laughs> not healthy, but it's fine. All right, so for the very first thing, we have some chips. These are potato chips. They're bacon jalapeno chips. Um, let's see, jalapeno bacon poppers. So they're like the little jalapeno popper chips with bacon and cheddar. I'm curious to see. Yeah, that sounds fun. I mean, we get a lot of chips here, so it's fun when we have flavors we haven't tried before, which I've never tried. I wonder if they're going to be spicy. We're about to find out. Oh, yeah, because we're tasting them now. Yeah. I didn't even, I was like, I have to wait I know, to taste these. I know, you were talking in a way where I was like, you know we're about to eat these, right? <laughs> well, let's see how they taste. They just smell kind of cheesy. Maybe a oh, little yeah. hint of bacon. I get, but yeah, like... Bacon, but artificial bacon smell. Yeah, same with the cheese. Yeah. All right, so they just look like regular potato chips. Yeah. Okay, that was a little bit of like a journey because yeah. at first I'm like, oh, this is good. Then I'm like, oh, this is not good. Then I'm like, okay, I think this is good <laughs> because it has a very artificial flavor to it. Mm -hmm. And it has like a smoky Gouda cheese type vibe. You kind of get the bacon. It's not my favorite. I'll probably finish the bag though. I don't know, to me they taste a little bit stale. Maybe they just weren't as crunchy as I was expecting. They also, like she said, are very artificial and I get that smoky Gouda, but then I also get a little bit of cheese Whiz and it's like throwing me off. I don't, like I could eat them, but I don't think I would like choose to eat them. Also, I just realized I got no jalapeno in any of that. I got a tiny bit of spice. Yeah, but, but it wasn't a jalapeno spice. That's true. And my spice tolerance is way less than hers. I would also say this kind of, you know what it kind of tasted like? It's like a loaded baked potato, like a baked potato with bacon and cheese. Like that's, yeah. I guess because it's a potato chip. <laughs> so if you like a baked potato, I think you might like these. And if you're okay with like that artificial cheesy bacony thing, then you yeah. probably would like these as well. Up next, we have some candies. These are the Yes Raspberry Candies Pressed Candies. So they're like Pez, but way, way juicier. Ooh. I'm juicier curious. as in flavor or juicier as in there's actual liquid inside of them. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think they're, they just look like tablets. Okay. But I, we, I love a good raspberry candy, so I'm here for this. Yeah. So they look kind of just like a hard, like a bigger Pez version. They're just 
Yeah. They that remind me of like the mint candies, but this is obviously going to be yeah. raspberry. Do they smell? A little. Ooh, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, uh, that was really good. It chews really easily. Like at first I thought it was going to be something that you kind of have to suck and then it's like crunchy, but it like kind of melts in your mouth once you start chewing it and a nice raspberry. I got a little bit of sour. She didn't. No, but, but I love sour. Yeah. So I, have a high, I like want it to be really sour. That's true. So I was impressed. Honestly, I wasn't expecting much from that, but it impressed me. Yeah, I definitely get that wonderful raspberry flavor that I love and like the raspberry candies. I almost wish it was like a little bit more raspberry than what it was, but I guess with this type of candy, it's not always super flavorful. I mean, it was flavorful, but like not like a bat pow in your face like a yeah. gummy might be, but I'm a fan of these. Okay, guys, I'm so excited about this next one. We have these. These are apple and cinnamon strudel gummy sticks. Warm check strudel like never before. We've had our fair share of gummy sticks. Never apple cinnamon that I think and then with like the creamy inside I feel like I have had this before but okay. I could be wrong we also I've said this in a lot of our videos we've been getting universal yums for like five more than five years now yeah. and so sometimes we get the same countries but it's because we've been subscribed for that long so I'm like yeah have I had these before maybe it's a different brand I don't know but they sound delicious yeah so they look just like they don't really smell. No, I don't smell anything, but they definitely have a cream inside. That's the part I'm like excited for. I hope it's like icy. <laughs> I don't know if it will be, but let's try. Those were good. I really like the strudely cinnamony flavor. I didn't love the apple as much. It wasn't bad, but it was giving like more artificial than I wanted, but like in a cooked apple sense, not like in like a the traditional artificial apple yeah. sense. But I think you liked them better than I did. I did. I definitely liked them. I thought the it did have like if you've ever cooked down apples with like cinnamon and sugar kind of tasted like that. The part I didn't like though was it, it was trying to be a sour candy when I was in the mood for like a apple cake <laughs> with icing in the middle. <laughs> with and it just a gummy wasn't that. would not ever be cake girly. So yeah, it wasn't a cake, but that was my own fault. <laughs> Up next, we have a dark chocolate nut bar and this is a pistachio bar. Well, I guess peanuts, almonds, and pistachio, but it says and pistachio. Oh, nuts and pistachio. Is it pistachio and nuts? A nut. <laughs> yeah, anyway. it must be like advertising that it has like pistachios in added. It. I love pistachio flavored things. Yeah, I will say this is giving me like healthy granola type bar, like yeah. nut bar that you get at the grocery store. So it doesn't feel like super special, but we're gonna taste it. Also in my head, I want it to be pistachio cream, but I think it's just the nut. No, and it looks like there's not many pistachios on it. Like that they're just like little, like little ones. Yeah. yeah, we'll see though. So this is what the bar looks like. You can definitely see that there's like some pieces sprinkled on it, but it's mainly peanuts and chocolate. She took a healthy survey. I didn't mean to. It kind of smells like peanut buttery. Well, I guess there's peanuts on it. Yeah, it does. All it right. smells like those Nutri Grain Valley, like they have the peanut and almond bar ones. I yeah, don't know. let's try it. Okay, honestly, that was kind of underwhelming. It wasn't very sweet. It was pretty, not savory, but it wasn't like necessarily the granola bars we have here. It was so good. If you're looking for a healthy snack, it would be nice, but. Yeah, our mom would love it. She loves healthy-ish food. Yeah. Um, It's not bad. Like if I was in a situation where I needed a bar, like on a hike, <laughs> it'd be good, but. We have all this other goodness here. Yeah. It's a little boring. All right, so up next we have some little oatmeal cookies. These are chocolate oat and coconut cookies. Half chocolate, half crumbly oat. <laughs> when you were holding it up, your face was like out. It was so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's funny. Um, so yeah, some coconut chocolate cookies. I like coconut, I like chocolate, I like oatmeal. But they, they do give a healthy vibe. Yeah, we're getting healthy. I think they're the same brand as the bar before. Yeah, they are. And so, the yeah. So, you Let's know. Try them. Yeah. All right. So, this is what they look like. I'm like trying to hide, but no, you can still sorry. see my face. Um, and, oh, oh, it smells good. It smells okay. like coconut. All right. Let's try it. I really enjoyed those. A yummy coconutness that came through that kind of like, if you're not a big oatmeal cookie fan, the coconut yeah. kind of like took over that. And the chocolate's really good. I mean, it's nothing crazy. Like, we could get something like this here. It's kind of like a digestive biscuit type of vibe, but, like, mm -hmm. different. It's a little bit different, but I enjoyed it. Yeah, no, I thought that was good. Um, it makes you feel like you're having a healthy treat, when in reality, I don't know if it's really that much healthier than a cookie. It probably is a little bit. It has oatmeal in it. We're good. Oatmeal, coconut. We're just glowing. 
But yeah, no, overall I thought it was good. All right, up next we have some pretzel bites and these are fun because they have caraway seeds in them. Ooh. I definitely know I've tried these before, probably in a past Czechia box. I remember really liking them, so I'm excited to try them again. So this is what they look like, just like a little pretzel nugget a moment. <laughs> and you can smell the caraway. There's like little caraway yeah. seeds in them. And caraway is supposed to be kind of licorice-y. That's kind of like yeah. the flavor profile of it. Yes. I really like those. I personally like caraway. If you're kind of used to that flavor, then I think you'd like them. It has that kind of like licorice -y bit. They're not super salty, these pretzels, but I like that. So I thought they were, it's just like a pretzel nut, nugget with caraway in it, basically. Yeah, now if you don't like licorice, it does not taste like licorice. It has like, if you're used to like anise, yeah. that's kind of what, or is anise and caraway the same thing? I don't know, but it's really, really good. It just adds a nice little flavor to it. I love pretzels, I love that. And <laughs> I will devour that bag. Okay, up next we have something so fun. We have little ghost snacks. These are ketchup ghost potato puffs. I'm loving the kind of Halloween vibes. We're in September now, almost October. Like, I'm all about fall and Halloween right now. Yes. Also, I like that they did something kind of Halloween-y in this box because you, t I at least if you get the Super Yum box, it feels like it comes towards like the end of the month. So by, oh, well, I guess Halloween is at the end of October. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you, you know, get it like a week before. Well, yeah, you're still celebrating Halloween. Anyway, excited about these. <laughs> Ooh, they smell like German paprika snacks. They do. It's like coated in the ketchup powder. And they're so cute little ghosties. Yes. Those are really good. They taste like the German like ketchup paprika, like puffed snacks. Yeah. Um, so no complaints. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a ketchup flavor. It's more just like a tomato flavor. Like, flavor, not so sweet like ketchup. Those were a little bit salty, but I don't know if it's just because the one I had had a lot of powder on it. But they're super airy, super good. They're easy to eat. Like with those airy snacks, you just keep eating and then the whole bag's gone and you're like, what just happened? <laughs> the next thing that we have is a gingerbread cake with plum filling and chocolate icing on it. This sounds delicious. It's gonna be more gingerbread than plum, which I think will yeah. be disappointing because I want a lot of plum, but I do love a gingerbread moment. Me too. So it just looks like a packaged cake moment. There's some like plum filling out of the side. It does kind of smell like plum and chocolate. Mm -hmm. So, let's try it. All right, that's what the inside slice looks like. So it has the plum in the middle. That was really good. It tasted like something Katrina and I are very familiar with called Flammenmus in Germany. Our mom used to get it all the time. It's kind of like plum butter. Yeah. Like, you know how you spread apple butter on toast? It's plum butter. Um, it tasted very much like that. You don't get much ginger. You get more like a little molasses flavor. Yeah. But overall, I thought it was really good. Not super dry, it kind of looks dry, but it's a little nice moist cake. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the plum flavor. I don't think everybody will like that because yeah. the plum flavor is like healthy plum, not pastry plum, mm -hmm. uh, to put it that way. Um, but I personally really enjoyed it. I do wish there was more of like spices or kick or cinnamon or nutmeg or like something in the cake, mm -hmm. um, but I thought it was yummy. All right, up next we have some fun little gummies from Pedro. These are fruity smiley gummies. We have three flavors. Oh no, we have more. Black currant, pear, lemon, and pineapple. Ooh. So those are fun. I want to try the the black currant. I want to try the pear. Yeah, I want to try them all. <laughs> all, right, all right, I'm going to try the pink. She's going to try and the, the yellow. yellow. All right, so my flavor was actually end up being pineapple. We think hers was black currant, but those were really, really mm -hmm. good. A really strong, punchy, fruity flavor. What we were not expecting is that they're kind of like marshmallowy on the inside. Yeah. They're not just like a straight gummy. And they kind of remind me of like the Katja's yogurt gummies if you're German, but the texture is different. Yeah. It has that like thicker, like marshmallow, but like chewy. Yeah. In a good way. Like airy, fluffy, marshmallowy. I yeah. don't know. I was here for them. I love the flavors. I just had the pink, but I feel like the rest of the flavors are also really good. Yeah. All right, up next. My sour heart will be very happy with these because we got some sour gummies. This is the sour gummy bites, and this is the duo mix. It reminds us of like the soccer ball hobby bowl mm -hmm. ones, which we love. So I'm really, really, really excited about these. I'm questioning on whether they're actually going to be sour or not. Yeah, but we're about to find out. All right, so they have different like colors on the outside. So hers is like a yellow orange. Mine has a red. I think there's orange, yellow, and red outside, mm -hmm. and then the inside's kind of like I don't know. They smell kind of citrusy. They do smell citrusy, yeah. It does say on the thing that they'll be citrusy, so let's try them. 
Those definitely had that citrusy, fruity flavor that I was looking for. They're not sour, thankfully for me. Um, but it's good. The inside is kind of like icing, but it's kind of like gritty. Sugar, yeah, gritty, sugar, <laughs> gritter, <laughs> gritty, sugary, but like in a good way. I like them. She tried more of the flavors. What were the were the other flavors? They were all citrusy, but they all had a slight different taste to them. But they were uh -huh. all like. It's hard to distinguish because it's like artificial gummy flavor, but not like a pinpointable one. It's just like that like fruity, melded fruity. Yeah. Um, but very, very good. Now up next is the like food meal kit item, which they've started to include. And I actually really love that they're doing this. And I kind of wish there was more of them in the box, but we have this here. This is Bramborova. I don't know if I said that right. I just said it with an active thing. Anyway, this is <laughs> Czech potato soup mix. A taste of Czech home cooking. It's from Vitan Vitana. It reminds me of like the quinoa soup packets we get in Germany, mm -hmm. but it's just like a dry mix. So you mix the contents of the pack with about three cups of water um, thoroughly in a pot, then bring to boil while stirring constantly and cook, cook slowly for 10 minutes. It yields about three cups. Um, so yeah, it's a nice little potato soup. Um, this doesn't, it shows chunks in it. I don't think that there'll necessarily be chunks in it. So if, I probably will like cook some potatoes and some carrots to put in it. Mm -hmm. I've noticed with these like soup packets before, but I love that they're starting to include these and I just love this one because it reminds <laughs> me a little bit about Germany, even though it's obviously not, but I love these little packets. And that's perfect for the fall coming up. Mm -hmm. A nice little warm soup yes. on a cold fall day. Especially with the way you're sounding right now. The fact that <laughs> I know. Are saying this, we should probably have, this is what you should, should be having for dinner, not yeah. all these snacks. <laughs> all right, up next we have some more potato chips. These are garlic potato chips inspired by Czech wild garlic. Um, yeah, garlic. Yeah, so I think we've see. had these chips before because I remember this packaging, but I remember them being good. Mm. Do they smell garlicky? Actually, yeah. Ooh. It smells like like foraged garlic. I think I mentioned something about foraged garlic in the in the writing on there, but it, it smells like garlic bread. Like, have you ever made like the garlic bread from the grocery store that you buy the French Ooh. bread and bake? It smells like that. It does. So this is what they look like. I think these are from the same company as the other one. Yeah, they the jalapeno are. popper one. Yeah, yeah. So let's try them. Those are really good. You get the garlic flavor, but they're kind of buttery. Mm -hmm. I will say they are very salty chips, mm -hmm. but they taste good. I dare say better than garlic bread, but they're very delicious and I really want to continue to eat them right now. <laughs> um, breath is probably disgusting now, but oh, it's fine. Oh, true. <laughs> Don't eat those if you're about to go on a date. Yeah. <laughs> I do feel like I get some herbs in there as well. Maybe it's just because there's little green things on them and it makes me feel like there's herbs on it. Yeah. But they're really good, um, nice flavor. 10 out of 10, would try again. All right, up next we have these here. These are roasted onion potato rings, a secret mix of Czech spices in every ring. That sounds really good. It they does. look really good. I, I know these aren't onion rings, but I love onion rings, and these are giving me those kind of vibes. This is giving me more structure than a funyun, so I'm curious to see the vibes. True, yeah. Oh, interesting. I like it light onion. Mm. Like fried dough, light onion. I am so getting like pizza dough onion. I'm getting funyun. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's what they look like. Now I want calamari. <laughs> Ooh, oh my gosh. All right. They're not, they don't taste like a Funyun. They're a little bit more structured, like Katrina said, like maybe a little bit more crunchy. Not even crunchy, just. They're not as oily. Different, but yeah. they have a really, really nice taste. It's kind of like a sweet herb. Onion. Onion. Bread. Mix, mixed together in a little crunchy ring, and it was very good. That might be the, my favorite thing we've tried so far today. Yeah, same here. It's more bready than a Funyun. A Funyun's yeah. more air, and it's just a different texture and a different flavor, but they're good. Yeah. I really like them, and I, I'm ready to eat the rest of the bag. <laughs> All right, up next we have another gummy item. Sorry, I don't, I don't know how to put it in the camera. These are sour orange gummy belts, sweet, sour, and extra chewy. They must love their like gummy candy, sour, sweet stuff, which I'm here for. So yeah, they're just kind of like orange sour strip belts. Ooh, they smell orangey. Yeah. Not like crazy scent, but. I do feel like these have the possibility to be sour because of yeah. all the crystals. Unless it's sugar, but let's True. try them. <laughs> Those were really, really good. They have a nice, like, orangey flavor. Like, the flavor of them is really good. It's kind of mm -hmm. like a tangerine or like a mandarin yeah. orange. It's like a sweeter orange flavor. The outside is like, I think it's just sugar. I didn't think it was that sour. You said it was a little bit sour. I yeah. can agree maybe it's a tiny bit sour, but like, I wouldn't classify it as a sour snack, but I thought that was very good. I got some 
puckering moments just very slight but yeah it wasn't extreme sour it was more sweet honestly it was refreshing it was like having Ooh, a glass yeah. of tangerine juice orange juice like I thought it was just summery yes so I like those I thought they were very good and they were vegan yes up next we have more of the Emco muesli no uh what are the oatmeal cookies <laughs> um these are apple crisp oatmeal cookies Ooh. as cozy as autumn in Czechia I will want I do want to say I appreciate they have tried to make this box fall yes they've had apple crisp they've had the other apple ones they had the little ghosties I like that they're like getting with the vibe of like what time of year it is and I'm I here agree. for that. So let's try these. So this is what they look like. They look really sad, but <laughs> they smell good. They do smell apple-y and crispy and yummy. They just look like a boring oatmeal cookie though. All right, let's try it. It tasted like a wannabe apple cinnamon Velveeta cookie. <laughs> Ooh, you're ripping hard. Oh my goodness. No, I'm just kidding. They were good. They're Very not. Hot. <laughs> No, I thought it was good. It's very, it's a very dry cookie. Like the apple and cinnamon is there and the oatmeal is there, which is nice. But it's not sweet at all, which I do, I can't appreciate because some stuff we have here is too sweet. So, I probably wouldn't eat that again, but like it wasn't bad. It was healthy. It, it the flavor needed to be turned up like a little bit. Yeah. It smelled really good, but like the flavor, the apple and the crisp, you get it, but like it's like turned down. It needs to be turned up. I feel like this would be good like crumbled over ice cream where you get more sweetness mm. and you get more flavor in it. On its own, it's very like healthy boring. It's like, like she said, one notch away from being really where good. it needs to be. <laughs> Agreed. All right, so next we have our drink. This is the drink this month. Um, wine. White grape soda. Soda inspired by wine. Ooh. Um, but it's 100% alcohol free, unfortunately. <laughs> Just kidding. Not for me because I don't drink alcohol. I'm but. totally kidding. Now, I think only the Super Yum box comes with a drink, so just keep that in mind if you get this box. We did have it in the fridge, so if you see like wetness on it, it's because we put this in the fridge to chill it. Yeah. It smells like white grape body wash or like white grape shampoo. Like She's right. Yeah. And feet. <laughs> <laughs> or farts or like... Oh, you know, when you're, you know when the sink drain like starts to smell? It's like... <laughs> Tell me that before I have to consume it. But it smells good. <laughs> okay, you ready to try this? I don't get feet. Yeah, but it's like or off. Farts. It's like off. It's like white grape off. Let's taste it. Okay, let's taste it. Okay, I see how it's inspired by wine. Because it kind of has like a... Kind of has it's a like, wine taste. It's like a grape soda, but then it kind of has like that like wine taste to it. It's like a sweeter white wine that's carbonated and I actually am here for it <laughs> but I love wine. Wine is my drink of choice. Preferably a red wine but this will work. I don't hate it. Yeah. I mean I kind of want it to be sweeter and not like this but like honestly I as like somebody who's straight edge and does not drink alcohol like this would be a good alternative if I'm with people who are drinking. Yeah. Where I would feel like I'm like in the vibes. Yeah. Though. I wish all of you could taste it because it is like a different, like we don't have something like it here. No, I've never tried something like that before. Ooh. Like it gives grape soda, sorry, I just cut you off. I realize no, you're it good. gives you grape soda and then dives into that, like it's sweet and then it dives into that yeah. more like winey flavor. It's a white. <laughs> it's a Chardonnay. <laughs> all right, and last but not least is not a snack. They've started including a bonus item, and this month it is a 3D Czech Republic castle. Um, I love the packaging. I will say, this box is geared more towards like families or people with kids. <laughs> Not us, even though we're big, kids. we're big kids. Yeah. <laughs> um, some of the things that they've had have been more sophisticated, like they had a Turkish coffee thing, like like a metal thing. Mm -hmm. But then they've also had like very kid-like things. This mm -hmm. one's actually fun though because it is 3D, so I do want to show you like when it's built. It's actually pretty cool. If it was just a regular puzzle, I'd be like, blah. But like, honestly, I do want to build that. And I'm excited yeah. to build that. And I think it's actually kind of cute. <laughs> um, so yeah, and I like they they went all out on the packaging. So mm -hmm. I, I'm here for it. It is fun because you can kind of have, like for example, with this one, you can have an activity to do while you taste the snacks. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so those were all the snacks and everything in our Universal Yums box for September 2023, the Czechia box. Um, all right, what were my favorite snacks? I think if it has to be the onion ring things, 
The drink was really good this mm -hmm. month. And honestly, I think these might have been like my favorite gummy moment. And I do also really like the caraway pretzels. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can pick one favorite this month. I think she just read my mind because mine's the same. It's the onion rings, these gummies, and then the drink. I also love the caraway pretzels. And I was very impressed by these raspberry Pez things. So... Honestly, this was a very good box. It was kind of fun. We, I feel like we had a little bit more savory this month, month, which was nice. And then we had a lot of gummy, fruity things, which Katrina and I love. So I thought it was a good month. Yeah, I feel like I really do like most of the things or everything in here I enjoy. Mm -hmm. We didn't get any wafers, which are something we don't enjoy. So that's why we were able to taste everything this month. But I thought that it was really, really good. I enjoyed this month. But definitely let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Which one of these snacks, if you don't get the box yet... Which one of these snacks would you want to try? Like, is the most intriguing to you? And if you do get the box, have you tried these? And what do you think? We would love to hear all of your thoughts down in the comments below. Again, we do have a link in the description box if you want to sign up for the box. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. And we'll see you in our next video.